It's like the Israelites. They have the same response. They have this habit called complaining. Right? Now my question is, why do you have the same reaction to every situation? Same thing with the Israelites. They have the same reaction to every situation. And that is complaining. Here's the thing. Miracle will happen if the receiver is ready. Yeah. If you look at a study, the gospel, all right, before Jesus Christ demonstrated a miracle, he makes sure that that person is ready. There's this one story in the, in the gospel where Jesus cannot perform the miracle. You know why? Because of their lack of faith. Miracle will happen if the receiver is ready. Amen? Now my question is, are you ready to receive that miracle? Amen. Are you ready to receive that promotion? Are you ready to receive that breakthrough? That God is supposed to do in their life. Because miracle will happen if the receiver is ready. Amen? Before they enter the promised land, the requirement that God is asking them is their heart, their character. They are not yet ready to enter the promised land. That's the reason why the entire generation, God did not allow them to enter the promised land because they are not ready. Because miracle will happen if the receiver is ready. Amen? How many of you here, you know someone? Okay, not you. You know someone, that person, that whatever happens to him, they have, that person has the same, the same response. Alright? That whatever happens to him, no matter happens to him, anger is his response. Right? In this workplace, there's this anger. Inside the bus, there's this anger. Same response. Or how many of you here, you know someone, and no matter what happens to that person, shutdown is his response. If there's a meeting or conflict, that person will shut down. Or how many of you know someone that no matter how much that person walk out is his response? <laughs> right? In the middle of the meeting, he will walk out. If there's conflict and argument, he will walk out. Alright? If his spouse is angry with him, he will walk out. <laughs> right? Same response. <laughs> Same thing with the Israelites. The response is complaining. Maybe because God is not changing your situation because God wants to change your heart first. Instead of asking, Lord, can you please change this situation? Can you please change this person? Why don't you ask God, Lord, can you please change my heart? Can you please change my attitude? Can you please change my character? Maybe the reason why God is not changing that situation that you have because God wants to change your heart, your perspective, and your attitude, and your character. Miracle will happen if the receiver is not ready. You want to receive the miracle? How about the other stuff before God? Amen. How can you receive the blessing if the vessel is broken? We are God's vessel. Amen. How can we receive if we are broken on the inside? You know what? God wants to bless us. That's for sure. God wants to provide for all our needs. That's for sure. But my question is, are we ready? Do you know what's the size of manna? It's a small piece of bread. Tastes like honey, a sweet, a sweet one. Alright? Now what God is saying to them, if you are faithful with small things, I will, God will entrust them you with bigger things. Amen. My question is, can God trust you in these small things that you have right now? Can God trust you in that position that you have right now? Can God trust you in this small thing? Because if you are faithful with small things, you will be faithful in bigger things as well. Amen. For sure, God can provide. He is our great provider. But the question is, are we ready? Can, can I trust you, says the Lord? Amen. Matthew 6, 31. Matthew 6, 31, it says here, So do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. Alright? Jesus Christ said, do not worry. You know what? The pagans, they have this worry of what? What to eat, what to drink, what to wear. But we are not pagans. We are Christians. We are sons and daughters of the Most High God. That's the reason why Jesus Christ is saying to us, do not worry, for I am the God who can provide. Matthew 6.33 But seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. As you seek God, alright, as you seek Him wholeheartedly, you will know His plan, you will know His purpose, and everything will be added unto you. 
because your father knows what you need. Amen? He cares for you and he is on your side. When you seek him, he will tell you what to do. Amen? I remember the story. I shared this last week okay, in our Taglish service. The story of Gretchen B. Some of you, you need to hear this. Okay? It was a testimony in our Daily Bread. You know the, our Daily Bread magazine? Yes. The Christian magazine. There's this one story of Gretchen B. I don't know if she's Barreto or Brian or Google. <laughs> Gretchen B. He, she's a missionary. Alright, one day God spoke to her to go to a grocery store. Alright, and she's wondering, why did I go to a grocery store? Because right now I have no money. Okay, but she just obeyed the voice of the Lord because she can hear the voice of the Lord. Alright, so what she did was she went to that grocery store. And when she arrived at that grocery store, God told her to fill in your cart. Alright, whatever you need, just get it. Right? Oatmeal, rice, sardines, whatever. And then when she filled in her cart, the Lord told her to go to lane number 7. Right? And she's wondering, why do I need to go to lane number 7? In lane number 6 or lane number 8, there's, the line is not that long. Right? And when she arrived in that lane number 7, you know what? All of a sudden, the grocery store announced something. And you know what is that announcement? There's an alarm. You know what? Hello, customers, announcement. Today is our seven-year anniversary. And for those of you who are on the lane number seven, your groceries are for free. Wow. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Everything is for free. You know, if I'm that person, if I'm Gretchen B, I'm not just, I will not just get groceries. I will, maybe I will get LeBron James shoes or Jordan or iPhones. <laughs> because I, I hear always the voice of the Lord. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Seek first His kingdom and His righteousness. Can you imagine that? God has His way of providing for His people. Beyond human imagination. Beyond you could ever ask or imagine. Just like how He provides to question B. He will provide for you. And you will be amazed Amen. how God will provide for your needs. Exactly. Amen. So, so do not worry. Tell the person next to you, do not worry. Do not worry. God has a way of providing. Amen? Philippians 4, 119, And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of His glory in Christ Jesus. Amen. God will provide. According to what? According to your business? <laughs> according to your salary? According to your parents? No, according to the riches of His glory in Christ Jesus. Amen. Meaning your 